this, of course, a number of bad ones. I'm always, always minded of the Salvation Army motto, why should the devil have all the best tunes? Just looking at the city, the lab one, a friend of my family um, lived on the same street as us. Their father was killed in lab one on the Air Force and uh, doing a takeoff in a bow fighter. And yes, that was one of those areas of conflict mentioned there. As we see coming onto the screen now, number two squadron association raised, of course, as you mentioned, in World War One as part of the Australian Flying Corps, as well as serving in other conflicts. Yeah, well, one, of, one of the interesting things I, in the opening, I mentioned the charge at Beersheba. Well, they're not only charging machine guns and uh, artillery, they, the Germans had two biplanes which were bombing them as well. So, air, aerial warfare came early. Following number two squadron. Uh, numerically, of course, number three squadron. Uh, formed in Victoria, but uh, they were one of those groups that served in, in a variety of conflicts. One of their many, many claims to fame is the fact that the uh, Three Squadron was the one that held the funeral for the Red Baron uh, yes. when he was shot down in 1918. Mm. Well, e even even within the World War I, World War I, the huge development in aircraft from primitive virtually right biplanes to quite sophisticated mm. uh, bi um, aircraft. Uh, following Three Squadron is uh, number nine squadron there. We see some of the variety of aircraft again, quite a development from the Seagull the famous Hueys and the Blackhawks. Well, I can remember at school at Coolangatta looking down on a walrus biplane, that thing, flying past below me. There yeah, was a, 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 a pusher biplane uh, that was called the walrus. It's that thing. Nine, I've nine, actually seen one. Nine squadron uh, operated in Vietnam and they were strongly supportive of the SAS patrols. They also flew in to drop ammunition to mm. Delta Company 6 RAR during the Battle of Long Tan. But of course that's with the Hueys, is it? Yep. Yeah. And they disobeyed orders to do that. Yes. They dropped the ammunition to, to Delta Company. Yeah, they were told not to do it, but they decided that without it, Delta Company had had it. As we hear the chimes uh, for midday here, in the Brisbane Anzac Day Parade. Wonderful to have your company on ABC television today as we see more of uh, those who have served over the years the RAAF transport flight to Vietnam. 35 Squadron, the Wallaby Airlines. Well, what yeah. I want to know, what I want to know about that caribou is how could the Viet Cong miss? It only flew at about five miles an hour. It could oh. land and take off on trippings, but it was as slow and noisy as you've ever going to hear. It's a great aircraft. Yeah, but they never got any of them. Uh, never lost one. We lost Canberra, but 